All right. Hello. Uh, yeah, this is kind of cool. Um, uh, anyway. Yeah, so we're playing one of my soup, too. Um, and it, uh, literally, as I'm playing this, it literally came out just yesterday. It came out the 29th of October, so... Um, I am excited to play this because I remember, as y'all remember, actually, let's just go back a little bit. As y'all remember, I played the first Butterbite Soup on my channel. Now, why am I not streaming it? Because I still haven't figured out the whole lag thing. I'll figure it out soon. Don't worry about it, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll be able to figure it out soon once I do it. Then I'll probably stream more stuff, but at the moment, I decided this is just easier to, uh, to, to, to just, you know, uh, uh, record at the moment, so, um... So yeah, I remember hearing about there being a second one like a while back, um, recently, you know, announced that there's gonna be another one, and then recently, like a couple months ago, the, uh, there was an announcement that the game was coming out in October, so I was like, alright, I, I gotta play this, I gotta play this and come out, because I love the first game so much, so we're, yeah, gonna play it, why not, let's just get to it, guys, so, new game! By the way, this also takes place uh, a couple months after the first one, so. Oh my god, it is really. Oh! <laughs> <Her love. laughs> uh, a car show. We can play this car show, cool. Uh, oh, ninth grade. Oh. Wait, are we currently ninth grade? Yes. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, we're already. Already, and so just coming in hot. Uh, get up, bitch! It's ready! Finally, out of the way. You'll get burned. A cake? Okay. Uh, a car- <laughs> I'm already excited. I love these two together. D just as friends, obviously. Uh, <laughs> means it was already taken. But yeah, no, these two are, are just chaotic energy. I love it. Um, a car show generally pulls the molten chocolate cake from the oven. Also, FYI, I'm not a great reader, so hush if I'm stumbling. Um, thank god. It looks edible this time. <laughs> this is our second try. Uh, Daya ruined the first one by forgetting to add flour. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what did I establish? Oh god, I should have looked up this and how to pronounce her names again because I forget sometimes. I think it's. Okay, hold on. I'm pausing just to see how to pronounce the names. I'll be back. Okay. Alright, I have concluded that it's Dia, not Daya. So I am, uh, as you would say, white trash. Um. <laughs> that is all. Um. Anyway. So, uh, what are those specs on it? It's like the batter wasn't properly mixed. Oh. <laughs> we worked so hard mixing it, though. <laughs> it's probably fine. Yeah, whatever. We don't have enough time to redo this at, uh, do it at this point anyway. All we gotta do now is write happy birthday Noel on it. Aww. Oh, I'm actually making a birthday cake for her. I like that. I love that. I love that we, you know, they didn't like her and then they're like, all right, she's our pal. She's a friend now. Yeah, yeah, naturally. Uh, of course, pipe uh, icing letters onto the cake as Min checks her phone. Uh, her idea says that they'll be here any second. Easy. Uh, I'm done icing the first words already. <laughs> what the Fuck did you write in Noelle for Noelle first? Sorry, no, I say Noelle. <laughs> I'm so I can see them saying that way just to mess with her. Ah shit, I got ahead of myself. I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> I wish I had some birthday to the cake. Wait, what are you doing? If you hadn't done that, we could have been salvaged with Noelle's happy birthday. Don't ask me, that's what you get for rushing me. <laughs> what do we write now? Noelle have Birthday happy? It's gonna look like a goddamn stroke icing. <laughs> oh god, it's <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, the dome rings in and a crush freeze. It's them. Give me the icing bag. You're not allowed to have it anymore. Okay, fair. I don't trust myself anymore either. <laughs> I'll go install them instead. Yeah, keep them all outside. I just need like five minutes to figure out how to fix this. Just put more icing on it, mate. Just put more, just put chocolate icing on it. It's gonna look weird coloration wise, but just like. Put more icing on it and then redo it. Anyway, uh, a car show sprints to the front door and throws it open. Potter! Well, well, well. If it is fancy meeting, meeting what the cat finally decided to show up. <laughs> what are they saying? The world narrows her eyes, especially at Karsha, and tries to peer past her to the house. Is this your house? Yeah, it wouldn't explain why we were walking here. Sure is, to be honest, Frenchmen. We're here because, uh. 
I'm ready to reveal her birthday cake yet. I gotta do something to distract her. Make your own dead for food. <laughs> Already. Oh, what do I want to do? Fake my own death or propose to her? Fake my own death just seems like something I do on a daily basis. I'm gonna propose to her. Of course, she gets down on one knee. I'm gonna look so really down at her. Well, will you marry me? Uh, what is wrong with you? Our cusher goes to one hand and tries to force a rubber band onto her finger. What is that? Your engagement ring. I didn't agree to this. We're not engaged. You didn't say no. No! Too late. You didn't say it right after I asked you. That's not how it works. You don't. Is that any way to adjust your future wife? <laughs> Flings the offending rubber, offending rubber band into the bushes. Dia just stands there in confusion. Noelle is suspiciously looks from her to Akarsha. What's really going on? There's no way you made me walk it for an hour just to act out this insane skit. It only took that long because you wouldn't run. Once you run at least three miles without walking, you'll see how much fun it is. Sorry, but that's never happening. Surprise! Oh, we're doing this? The cake must be done. <laughs> it must be ready now. Surprise! Happy birthday, Frenchman! Surprise! We put together a party for you. Uh, you- What? <laughs> no one was lost for words. Y you shouldn't have. Shut the fuck up, we're not- You're not the boss of me. <laughs> it- It's my birthday, so shouldn't I have some say here? Anyway, I haven't said anything about not liking it. She grimaces like there's something disgusting in her mouth. I sincerely appreciate you all doing this. Oh, I like this. Go on. <laughs> there's nothing more to go on. That too. That's it. all. Oh, that was all. It was nice while it lasted. <laughs> Come inside. We baked you a cake. You did? <laughs> I love this. I love this already. I love that the energy is everything I want. <laughs> what? What kind of safe was this? What's the squiggly under it? A heart monitor? Why does it look like a? F it's fan lighting toward the end. It's hard to control the icing, okay? And this was all the Karsha's fault in the first place. My fault? All you did was drive the train off the rails. You were the one who crashed it. Driving off the rails sounds like, it sounds like a pretty big mistake. Oh yeah? Well, ultimately, this is Joelle's fault for being born. Who's the real culprit now? Huh, good point. Okay, let's go with that. Good point? We've won. Two against one. Democracy. USA. Oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> Once everyone had a slice of cake, Akarsha brings everyone to the living room. This was originally gonna be a sleepover, but I think w some of your parents wouldn't, would have said no. Yeah, nods. Uh, my mom never let me go to one before. She worried it'll turn me a lesbian. Too bad for her. I already did. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Wait! I love that's the opposite effect of what, like, th that one meme is, where it's like, uh, you know, oh. You know, and the mom is like, oh, no boys allowed. Me, who's a lesbian, just like, <laughs> just, I don't know, like that, that, I don't know, that reminds me of that, but that's interesting because the opposite of like that. Yeah. Akarsha, I'm surprised your parents let us come over under supervised at all. Eh, they trust me. They should be back any minute now, anyway. Uh, they're in San Roman and watching my bro's red belt test for uh, Taekwondo. It must be taking longer than they thought. Yes, I didn't realize you had to pass a formal ex uh, examinations to advance in Taiko no. Yeah, you gotta memorize forms and stuff. I've never seen them fail anyone though. Anyway, us being home alone means we can go buck wild. We're about to throw the party of a lifetime, Frenchman. The cartridge crouches at the foot of the TV and turns the GameCube on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mario Golf, baby. <laughs> Golf? Are you sure no one will like that? I don't know what you're talking about. Mario Golf's the best game in the world. I only have two controllers though. I usually just play against my bro. Uh, no, uh, no, I should play first because it's her birthday. Yeah, and the rest of us should take turns playing against her. Won't that feel like everyone ganging up on me? Nonsense. We're, you're, you're getting the maximum amount of fun here, Frenchman. <laughs> Frenchman. Anyway, Carter hands in one of the controllers. Min, uh, Min grabs the other one and curls up on the couch with you. All right, Karsha, this better not be like your copy of Melee. You didn't even have any of the characters unlock except Marth. Who needs Falcon or whatever when Captain 
and it's right there. Same thing, really. You mean Falco? There's no fucking here to call Falco. <laughs> Oh my god, it actually is Mario Kart. <laughs> in the background, oh go. That's what Jesus was wrong with me. Anyway, uh, geez, calm yourself. I like everything this time. See? Min? Choose, choose Mario. We're Team Mario. Why should I? Don't you trust me? I guess. Whatever. <laughs> I suppose I'll be this pink princess. Uh, Crusher's got this over at Noel. She's picked her controller flat on the sofa and pressing it down on the buttons like she's playing a piano. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Shut up, I can adjust the controller stick with the greater position like this. <laughs> She's like, she's gonna be like the best at the game, even though it's weird. Uh, no, it pictures the control stick between her thumb and index finger, like a crab with a pebble between its pinchers. God, why are you like a grandma who's never seen a video game before? <laughs> uh, and it looks like dark, lava ridden course. An animation panning to the stage first hole plays on screen. Wait. That looks difficult. I don't even know how to play this yet. S sink and sizzle, Frenchman. <laughs> this doesn't sound like something you should be saying to someone on her birthday. Now hastily mashes the buttons on random on her controller. Her character managed to hit the golf ball safely across the lava pit. Oh, so it's just luck. <laughs> it's not luck, it's physics. Big worse with someone who, especially someone who's supposed to, <laughs> someone who's supposed to think she didn't know how to play 10 seconds ago. After a few swings, this is excessively puts her golf ball into the first hole. The words bogey appear on screen. The fuck's a bogey? <laughs> How should I know? Aren't you any of the sports enthusiasts here? I like real sports, not fake old people sports like golf. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, finishes the hole with a triple bogey. On screen, Princess Peach collapses and shakes her head, devastated. Haha, <laughs> loser! You shut your mouth! <laughs> Hands, yeah, the controller for the next hole, kissing her adorably on the cheek as she does. Aww. Anyway, I hear pros for Brow is considering her options. Hmm. Yeah, launches her ball straight into the lava. <laughs> At last, my chance to make a comeback. I'm weaker today because I'm not Luigi. <laughs> if you insist. Uh, Noelle immediately hits her ball into the lava too. <laughs> I can't wait to see your face when we play Monopoly later. <laughs> We're playing Monopoly? Why? What, you don't like it? There's no skill involved, it's pure luck. Silence, demon. It's fun to fantasize about owning property someday. <laughs> oh my god, the game's not even designed to be fun. It is created to educate people on the dangers of capitalism. But I like collecting deed cards. This, they have such nice colors. Now let's make a deal. If you win the next hole against me, we won't play Monopoly. How is it fair? You've played Mario Kart countless times before. Hey, I've only tried this course once or twice, honest. Uh, Noah ponders this as Dia hits her golf ball straight into the lava for the third time. Fine. Deal. Oh no. Oh no! I roasted my golf ball again. <laughs> After counts of the tens, Noelle manages to complete the hole first. Yay! You win! <laughs> it's a good thing your athleticism doesn't translate to skill at sport games. Uh, Dia puts the ball into the hole with her next swing. She passes the controller to Garsha. Your turn! Yeah, totally. Just letting him all in. <laughs> Unfortunately for Frenchman, I don't believe in going easy on birthday girl. I'm pulling out all the stops. <laughs> the words press A to skip appear in the animation to show A the next hole begins to play. <laughs> Guess you have no choice. Uh, Crusher presses an A to skip the animation before to reveal the hole's location. You cut it off early. Whoopsie daisy. I got too impatient. <laughs> Akasha, where's the hole? I wonder. <laughs> You worthless scammer! <laughs> oh my god. Where is Monkley puts her ball? Wait, puts her ball, but it rolls smoothly into the lava. No, no, ah! Serves you, right? <laughs> Noel tries to set up a trick shot against the wall. Whoa, geometry. <laughs> Be quiet, I'm concentrating. Noel hits the ball with a measured swing. Instead of glancing, uh, uh, glancing off the wall in the tennis shot, it just ricochets back the way it came. Well done, Noelle. You're back where you started. I hate you, you scumbag. I still don't even know where the hole is. Watch and learn, my friend. Akasha expertly angles her shot so the golf ball rolls up a hill, then drops straight in into the hole. That's how it's done. My, my days playing the stage against my bro have finally paid off. Days? You said you played this stage once or twice. 
The whole scouts, but Akarsha can tell from the way the corners of her mouth crinkle that she's fighting back her grin. You liar! What do you have to say for yourself? Huh. Suddenly, I can't hear. My ears are failing. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Akarsha! <laughs> Wario slaps his butt, says the worst par appear on screen. See? This is why Mario Kart is the best game in the world. <laughs> no one turns away, so Akarsha can't see her face, but now, by now she's... Sh uh, shaking with barely suppressed laughter. I win. I broke her. <laughs> I'm going to beat the living daylight out of you. <laughs> oh my god. Are you actually yelps? No one pelts her with slaps. Help. Murder. Murder. <laughs> so, Monopoly? You got it. <laughs> yeah. -ha. I got boardwalk. Welcome to my Santa Cruz of death. I'm using my entire savings to pile four houses on it. Oh no, if I land on it right now, I'll go broke. Well, chances are, you won't. Unloading all your money on this single property is pure fully this early in the game. Well, think about that bankrupts thing. <laughs> roll. You just roll a seven. <laughs> Thank God, anyway. I don't know, I don't know why I always just, I get reminded of weird things. Anyway. Uh, go, 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 go. Anyway, uh, yeah, rolls the dice and breathes a sigh rudely when she safely passes a Karsha and killer below tile. After a few places, her dog token lands- Oh, of course it's dog token. Anyway, uh, it lands on Nin's property. She begins to shell out the rent, but Nin stops her. You don't have to pay me. Uh, I don't? It's my house, so I'm in charge. You can stay there for free. <laughs> not so fast, that's not allowed. When you land on property owned by another player, the owner has to collect rent from there, from you. A card flips open the rule book and pretends to adjust an imaginary pair of glasses on her face. Actually, it says here, the owner may not collect the rent if he or she fails to ask for it before the second player following throws a dice. That's so confusingly worded. Basically, it's saying if the owner doesn't ask for rent, the renter doesn't have to pay for it. So, ha, so I can sleep at my house. What kind of buffoon pen will these rules, <laughs> buffoon pen these rules? If the renter and the owner are in cahoots, the other players are at a disadvantage. Unless the odd one and one's out from a form an alliance to counter too. Mmm, wanna be in cahoots with me, friendship? <laughs> Not a chance. I'll say I didn't ask you. We'll, we'll be singing on a, 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 a different tune once you land on my killer boardwalk. You know, this phone buzzes and her face pales when she checks it. Oh, great. What's wrong? I told my mom I'd text her when I got to Akarsha house, but I was having too much fun, so I completely so I completely slipped my mind. I heard it catches a glimpse of Noel's phone screen. It's filled with panda text messages from her mom. Oh no. Oh no. Are you having fun? Hello? Hello, Noel. Are you. How are you dining? I meant not. I meant not doing, not uh, doing, not doing. You may consider to call us when you can. Is everything okay? Where are you? You said you would text us. It's been almost two hours. How come you're not picking up your phone? We're about to call the police. Jesus. There's four missed calls too. I think we're all we're all shouting so much. I didn't hear any of them. Ida jumps in surprise as her cell starts ringing. She starts at it with a uh, transformation before fearfully, fearfully pressing it in your good ear. <laughs> I know you're no you're gonna you're gonna eat earful literally. He practically hands him all the phone like it's a hot potato. Alright, I'll deal with it. Noel answers the phone and leaves the room with a sigh. Or her can faintly hear the side of her side of the conversation. A few minutes later she returns to the group, her face sour. We cleared up the misunderstanding. I'll let them know I'll be here for a few more hours. I'm sorry my mom called you, yeah. That was humiliating. It's okay. Good thing she didn't have didn't bore you missing yet. I know she means well, but it's honestly irritating how often she widely overreacts to perfectly harmless situations. She has no friends or hobbies, so all her brain power is spent on obsessing over me. Sorry we got you into trouble. It's not your fault. You couldn't have known. I should have remembered to text her once I arrived at your house. We all, uh, joints creak as she sits back down on the monopoly board between Nia and Akarsha. Is it just me, or are all the cool kids at her school just the ones whose parents let them do the most stuff? Yeah, it's the girls who uh, who are allowed to wear makeup and hang out with their friends all the time. That's not always true. My friends are pretty chill, but I'm still uncool. I'm just unpopular because I'm weird. Don't forget, don't forget perverted and annoying. 
I would like to add that you're a compulsive liar. <gasps> Jeez, wow, I didn't realize everyone had their own theories for why I'm <laughs> why I'm not popular. For, or for why I'm unpopular. Uh, a few turns of inoculator, Karshan moves her top hat token to the reading uh, railroad. Who's is this? Mine! Here! Broom, broom me, please. I have a starved family and eight children at home. $25. Hand it over. You're burning the baby here. How about 24 Just $1 can save a life. <laughs> I like how since we found out it's possible to not pay rent, this has turned into a crush of baking and haggling with everyone to not charge her. Wait, here. Yeah, I'll roll you for it. Don't learn nothing. So now this is, is a casino. Yes, this is the thick stack of monopoly money she's accumulated from not having to pay rent when means was properly started. Okay, I'll try my luck. Uh, yeah, shakes the dice in her hands and drops them onto the board with a clatter. She got five. Yay! E. I'm not too bad. I got this. Mm -hmm. Holding your breath, Akasha rolls the dice. Ten! Winner! Mm -hmm. I, have, I live another day. You're so annoying. I hope the next turn kills you. If I'm so annoying, why do you keep hanging out with me? Because I love you to- I love to watch you fail. <laughs> so well turn, she rolls a twelve. No, only moves her iron token a couple days before she starts to lose it. That's how Akasha knows she's landed on a boardwalk. Oh, uh oh, spaghetti! -o. <laughs> Shut up! You don't need to rub it in. She nearly knocks over all the houses. Akasha piles up on the space as she slams her token down. How much is it? Oh, only uh, seventeen hundred. <laughs> The Karsha's amazing and all dissolves into laughter on the couch. Actual, honest to god laughter. Dang, I gotta figure out how to do that again. <laughs> then rolls next, Akarsha hears the sound of the front door opening. Oh, they're finally back from the deck went on. Her little brother runs into the room, widely swinging his red, a new red belt in the air like a whip. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Pat? Patrick? Pat how do you say that name? Arctic? I don't know. Anyway, also, I love the same energy. They both have the same energy. <laughs> Just already the whipping of the action and the floorless. I love it. How Zem Zermiro? He falls. He flails his red belt, whipping on the floor, couch, and everything within a three-foot radius of him. Ow! Ow! This is my bro, uh, Partick. He's basically me, but a guy. Yeah, exactly. That's what I love. See, you passed your test. A voice moves through the house from the garage. But, but help carry, uh, help carry uh, groceries in. We stop by Costco and run nachos for the party. Yee! Should we help? Huh? He's talking to me. My, be my guest. Relax. No, I insist. It's my birthday. We're going through the trouble for. It. Fine. Hard to argue with that. Frenchman. Let's go. Uh, Akasha hastily, uh, oh, sorry, hastily, hastily sets her socked feet into her mom's sandals and waddles into the garage with Noel in tow. Is, uh, Bertie your only sibling? Nah, I have a big sister. But she's like way, way older. She's in medical school already. That is a lot older. I was definitely on accident, but I think I was so awesome that it reminded, it reminded my parents how cool kids are and then they made my bro on purpose. That is far too much information. <laughs> so your sister int intends to become a doctor? A uh, neurosurgeon. Like, good for her, but it's almost kind of frustrating how perfect she turned out. She's just as bad as you. I can't even say my parents have unrealistic expectations because my sister actually met them. Oh, we actually get to see parents. We never, I don't think we ever got to see parents before. Um... <clears throat> Akarsha's dad walks over from the trunk of the minivan with an armful of groceries. Oh god, what is he wearing? Yeah, I thought I noticed this in class of Oh ho, so this is the birthday girl. Thank god you were here. My dad always says thank god instead of- <laughs> Oh, thanks god. Oh, thank- Oh, thank- oh, I didn't even see that. Thanks god instead of thank god. I don't know why. Well, it's my surprise party, so I don't have much choice in the matter. Akarsha said you don't like surprises, so you might go home already. Like my co-worker Kara last week, when he, we threw her a retirement room, she only stayed for half an hour. Your co-worker's called Kara? Dad, her name is Karen. I really hope you weren't calling her that at the office. 
my god, that's funny. Okay, Akarsha's dad tries to clear the path through the heap of shoes by the garage door. Meanwhile, Akarsha and Will grab a couple of grocery stacks from the garage. The guy looks very patriotic. Yeah, he thinks being American is really cool, so he likes to buy stuff with eagles and flags on it sometimes. I see. Is he really into politics? No, my parents don't really know anything about politics. Every election they have, one of them vote for the Republican candidate while the other one votes for Democrat, so they cancel each other out. <laughs> so why do they bother voting if they don't care who wins? They just want to feel included, I guess? It's pretty silly. I feel like just don't vote at all then. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Karsha's uh, mom smiles at Noelle as she steps from, out from the passenger trees. Oh my god, she's sitting in the car. Uh, sitting in the car uh, the whole time, fixing her hair and reapplying her lipstick. <laughs> no one cares, mom. <laughs> it's not really. We thought we'd be back before everyone came. It's a super GPS fault. It wanted us to go to all of these strange routes. If you just followed its direction on the way, it probably would have been faster. No, I could predict there would be traffic on the 680. I know, I've lived here for 20 years. Speaking of driving, I have a great idea for an invention. Cars should zap bad drivers. Zap? As in with electricity? Just uh, through the steering wheel. Not enough to kill them, but enough to hurt. <laughs> Seal my parking spot. Yeah! <laughs> the dead lines being shot with electricity. <laughs> Dad, oh my god, stop it! I told you, Rashad, that sounds like a terrible idea. But everyone would learn so fast. I said, Akarsha told you I'm a genius. Her smarts runs in the family. I should uh, patent my car zapper along with my telephone idea. Telephone idea? It's the same thing, except the telephone shocks uh, and telemarketers. I'm the newbies. <laughs> the newbies of the patent office will approve the other, either of those. Uh, um, what don't you don't? Uh, what you don't you think it's a great idea? Hello, we buy our product. Whoa! Carter Dad shakes his arm as if being shocked again as he walks into the house. What's wrong with you? Carter must blow his eyes with this aspirated expression on her face. Finally, they're gone. I thought I was gonna die of embarrassment. Noel is still staring at her after her dad, fascinated. Your dad is such a character. He's so outgoing. Oh yeah, he loves talking so much. He never shuts up. I feel like this explains a lot about you. Really? Like what? I see where you get your sense of humor from now. Huh? No, my jokes are totally different. You can't deny that there are some similarities. From my observations, parents have a lot of influence on their kids' personalities. No way, I'm way funner than my dad. I'm an enigma. You'll never figure me out. Actually, I think I already have. For instance, your voice pierces are earnestly trying at something and failing. So even though you're perfectly intelligent, you use your goofy disposition to, uh, preemptively make a fool of yourself on purpose. I do not. Give me an example. When we play Monopoly, you sink all your funds into the boardwalk. When we play poker, you eat all your cards. When we play baseball, you clutch your head and claim you're having a, uh, it's like, like a brain attack. Hey, I was I just like proving providing fun for the entire the whole family. I doubt that's it. This extends to every facet of how you present yourself to the world. You're insecure about your parents, so you go out in this outlandish hairdo with it with this windbreaker and flip flops up. You're worried people won't like you, so you act like a circus clown. Rather than risk your rejection, you set yourself to failure to feel control of the situation. What the I feel weirdly exposed? You're the one to talk about fear of failure, miss. I argue with teacher with that multiple choice answer was technically also right. I would contend, uh, I would contend that makes me more ad adept at sensing that trait in others. So if you your crush lets out a nervous laugh. Her, her read on me is nearly accurate. No one's ever seen through me like this before. How much attention she, how much attention she, how much attention is she paying to, paying to me? You're sure you don't watch someone that closely unless you like them. Unless. <laughs> Bruh, honestly, if these two get together, I that'd be great. I I know I actually like these two. I want these two to get together. I know that seems weird, but I do. I don't know. There's like they're like opposites. I don't know. Like that's kind of how it works, you know. And uh, Carson watches Noel closely as they haul food inside. She held the a grin as Noel ascends the garage's concrete step with grace of a vacuum cleaner. 
Suddenly Roll turns to, turns to her and gives her an unreadable look. What? Akarja heart skips a beat as Noel reaches out to her windbreaker sleeve and plucks something from the fabric. There's a of rice stuck on your jacket. It was bothering me. Noel holds up the fenting grain of rice between her fingers. Oh, that was an accessory. Put it back. Her hair feels a jolt in her forehead as Noel rolls her eyes and lets the corner of her route cork up for the briefest moment. Ah, shit. No. Not this shit again. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. She actually has a crush! Oh no! <laughs> well, not no, yes. Yes, actually. That's how my reaction would be. Yes! Yes! Anyway, um. Akarsha daydreams about Noelle as she uses one of the library's computers. I'm so fucked. I can't stop thinking about her. We haven't even known each other for like a whole year yet, but she already knows so much about me. I bet we're closer than a lot of couples who are really date are dating. She can tell when I'm about to say something annoying before I even open my mouth. She knows I have a big sister, which is like a rare Akarsha fact because she's so much older than me. Heck, she's met my parents already. That's a couple -y thing, right? The heck are you doing? Good. You scared me! I said like hi like twice. You must be really out of it. I, I just focus on the computer. Akarsha points to the screen to try to sell her point. I'm editing my report card and MS Paint. I intercepted it before my parents checked it, uh, checked the mail yesterday. Watch this. On the computer, Akarsha photoshops her B plus in English into an A minus. A minus? Why not change it to an A plus? Nah, A minus more realistic. Now I gotta gotta print this out. Don't tell anyone I did this, okay? Why do you? Who do you think I am, Noelle? You're not even changing your actual grades, so you're not really cheating. You're right. I'm just cheating my parents' brains. My neck. <laughs> Ursula pulls her new and improved report card from the tray. It's still warm from the machine away. Machine away? <laughs> have a random lisp what was that where did that come from oh my god <laughs> i'm laughing at myself for that because i think that's so weird i have a wisp apparently now uh machinery like fresh laundry what happened there literally i don't think i've ever had like a list like that like maybe like years i don't know that's funny okay anyway not the point <laughs> i'll do your court card too if you give me 20 dollars Nah, can't be bothered. I don't care what my parents think. Wow, you're really- uh, You're not worried about disapproving them? Why should I be? They don't seem that worried about disapproving me. Dude, that's deep. Even though we I mean- I don't know, meaning it's horrible, horrifying grade. She's pretty smart in some other ways. She did manage to get together yeah, after all. Maybe she has tips for this kind of thing. Actually, can I ask you a question? Yeah, what? Hypothetically, if you had a crush on a friend, what would you do? Hey, you have a crush? Who is it? I can't tell you. It's embarrassing. Is it someone I know? Seriously, I'm not telling you. No one can know. Is it you? What? No, I'm not trying to get my throat slit by you. Is it me? No, but no more questions. I'm not exposing myself. <laughs> like, like the face of like, the word like, oh god. What's happening? What happened to being in a love episode or whatever it was when I was trying to kiss you? Uh, why don't you just follow your own shitty advice? Admittedly, it's easier said than done. Look, it's exactly like what you guys said when I was on that date. Don't overthink it. Just be straightforward and tell them how you feel. You sure? They don't feel they don't feel the same way. This could end up destroying your friendship. Yeah, just do it. You can even try one of those stupid fucking pickup lines you keep practicing on my girlfriend. Okay, okay, I promise I'll stop doing that for real. <laughs> I feel like I'm- I feel like I'm hitting uh, my- my crush directly is a massive risk though. Well, it worked out for me. You never know unless you go for it. What's the worst thing that could happen? They reject you? Getting rejected is a huge deal. It's like, make- it will make everything so awkward. I mean, yeah, but that's just the risk you gotta take. You don't get it. This isn't just me being paranoid. This has literally happened to me before. You know you went into the same middle school as- as me, so you don't know. Not only did my crush start avoiding me, but she told the rest of our friend group and they stopped talking to me too. The, what the? That sucks. Yeah, no kidding. I try not to think about it much. Well, that shouldn't- that wouldn't happen this time. Even if it blows up in your face, you're, you still have me, yeah? NOL. Haha, <laughs> right, obviously.
the bell rings. Nah. Being direct about it still feels too risky. I'm not even sure Noelle likes girls. Heck, I've never seen her express any kind of attraction to anyone at all. Is she- she just hella like, repressed? I mean, at this point, like, like, you've seen her mother. I don't know if she even has, like, the option of being able to, you know, think about that kind of stuff, you know? Anyway, in any case, I don't want to embarrass myself. The only way to do this is to do Noelle so hard she can be compelled to confess to me first. That way, if it doesn't work, I can write off all the flirting as a joke. There's no way this is gonna go wrong. And nothing can go wrong. Ah, oh, no, we're all in the book. The bathroom interact. Oh, we can do stuff. Cool. Look at the desk. The library. Let's see. What's this? Excel. Mm -mm. I need to pass this for arms and a car share passes to the shelves. I fucking hate libraries. Uh, what? What's there to hate about libraries? <laughs> it's free books. Well, I guess the books are okay, but librarians are the worst. Why? This one time when I was like seven, I looked up a bunch of bad words on the school's computer. I didn't sell my search history and it got me banned from there for a month. What words did you look up? Just a bunch of swears I was curious about, like damn and fuck. I remember I searched and reached the middle, uh, rich middle finger too. I you thought middle finger was a bad word. Yeah, I was so innocent as a kid. Um, I'm not sure innocent is the right word. <laughs> Is no one still fake tutoring you to trick your parents into letting you out of the house? She actually tutors me for real sometimes. Well, wow, really? I haven't failed a single test since we started. I feel so proud, but not getting an F is super low hard hurdle. <laughs> Alright, right. protect you protect your hearing. And now this covers your ears as you walk through the library scanners by the door. The book scanner and the alarms go off. It's a car chat and it immediately waves her through. Oh yeah, I remember that now. That 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 uh prank that like made the, the book things go off. Okay. Interesting. Also, I I I I had to step out really quick just to have my dryer on, so if you hear like humming noise in the background, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, that seriously happens every single time you walk through the scanners. Are you sure you don't have any library books on you? Of course. There's even a photo of me tapped, uh, taped by the door now because after the f first few times they searched me, they ran I didn't have any. It, feels, it almost feels like my backpack is haunted by a ghost of a library book. How would that happen? Pissed off any books lately? No. Unless maybe the one counts, uh, counts as a book. And because I annoy her, da her daily, the books are mad at me? Are you hearing how crazy you sound right now? Yeah, I'm embarrassed. I even said that out loud. <laughs> it's probably just one of those things, like a magic frozen. You're what? Never mind. Forget I mentioned it. <laughs> Let's see, look at the locker room. Uh, I don't have a gym until later in the day, and the baseball club doesn't meet until after school. By the way, our baseball team is called. What did we name it last time? <laughs> The death bagel, bagels, the death bagel, it seems global warming and chicken nuggets. I think we call it global warming, if I remember. The name was, that was Noelle's, uh, that name was Noelle's idea. I bet there's, m the more time passes, the scarier teeny will be. Oh, definitely. <laughs> um, this is the bathroom. Ah, the public school's girls restroom, probably the most disgusting place on earth. Right now, I need to go to first period and terrorize Noel. Well. Okay. Oh, you also get? Okay. I I'm gonna head to class now. Adios, bitch. <laughs> she's probably gonna go with my ear now. I feel like she's chilled out a lot since they started dating. I guess knifing people is less exciting than kissing your girlfriend. <laughs> That's good. Uh, you should have my classmates. I hate when my parents yell at me for sitting late at night. If I slept early instead of cramming, I'd probably fail, and then I'd get yelled at for not studying. Ah, that's so gay. At our school, it's really about to say gay when you mean stupid or uncool. So you hear it all the time. Whenever people don't like something, they just go, that's so gay. Oh god, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> Look at your reflection. Who is that? How is it that everyone else has a bomb as their while mine's all sad and thin? What happened, Gene Catastrophe? <laughs> mm. Noelle and Ian 
aren't here yet. I managed to set up a special surprise the other day. Hopefully everything is still in place. A few minutes later, Karsha looks through the window outside. Uh, Noelle and I are approaching the classroom. Yes! Come, my hero. My hero, my sweet. Suddenly, a water ball whistles uh, through the, the open door. It hits the floor with a loud smack. We go across the classroom until it hits the wall. Uh. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's, uh, Sir. So it's not Saran Rat today. <laughs> well, Pierce especially into the classroom from the doorway. She ex uh, expertly reaches one hand inside and feels along the door frame, apparently searching for anomalies. What's wrong, French friend? Afraid to come in? What did you do this time? What makes you think I did anything? Maybe the fact that you're, you've done something every morning this month? Two against one! Cheater, cheater! <laughs> That's what you get, you worthless pest. <laughs> I love the music, it's just like, uh, okay. Uh, you choose to sacrifice a water bottle. Meanwhile, Noelle, uh, humbly walks to her desk with an arm outstretched ahead of her, bracing for a minor assault, whether it be liquid, solid, gaseous, or, uh, psychological in form. After thoroughly inspecting her desk, she, uh, apparently sits. Hmm. After a few ten seconds, Noelle doesn't seem satisfied with this, at the act. Of the act of sitting down didn't trigger anything. Reading this other, she hefts a bulky laptop from her best sister bag. Yeah, she didn't no notice the extra wireless mouse USB I plugged into your computer last Friday. I have the mouse hidden in my pocket. <laughs> you know, it takes a, a thin plastic holder from her backpack and pops like, uh, it back and forth so it makes that wumple 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 sound. <laughs> Did you work out work on the PowerPoint? I added a slide on the sharks and dolphins as the other another example of uh, convergent evolution. And Noel scrolls to this uh, scrolls to the slide in question. It's a small wall of text with no images. It's gonna put This is gonna put everyone to sleep! Noel's so confident that she's good public thinking, but she has zero charisma or self-awareness. She just drones on and on forever, oblivious that she's lost the audience ten minutes ago. I love her. Wait, I already made a slideshow about that. Swimming. Uh, it scrolls on the previous slide. It features a photo of dozens of fish and dolphins swimming in, uh, swimming in the ocean, completely captured in good shape. Good shape. <laughs> I hate the baby, but literally no one but you is going to understand this. You better pay attention to me right now. Time to shine. Look at the cursor, close the pattern with presentation. Uh, a cursor swiftly moves the cursor to the X and closes the document. What? No, okay. No, okay. What was that? I think it crashed. I bet it's because you typed too many words on one slide and all. Even Bill Gates didn't see this coming. Uh, Noel reopens PowerPoint and squints especially at the slide in question. That can't be it. I fit more words than this in, in, this on one slide before. You have? Good thing we've just saved. We didn't lose any significant progress. You know, while Noel is busy typing an essay loan caption, they're really clearly close to the program again. <laughs> See, there it is again! What's going on? You've been hacked, Noel! Don't tell me. You fell for this pop of advertising hot single ladies in your area. As if. Look, it's moving on its own again. No, it catches her mouse heart. Yeah. It clutches her mouse heart as if it helped her regain control of the rogue cursor. Garsha makes it drift toward the control panel. <laughs> Akarsha wiggles a mouse in her own pocket. It is flickered to the movement of fabric. And Akarsha windbreaker. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, oh no! The Akarsha is wrist and yanks it out of her, revealing the wireless mouse in her hand. So it was you! Wait, I just happened to have a mouse in my pocket. There's no proof that it's connected at all. He wrenches the mouse from Akarsha's hand, but before it. A Akarsha uses her precious final moments to click on the control panel and change the mouse speed to the slowest setting. Pathetic. I can revert your change within moments. Are you sure about that? Why don't you go ahead and try it? You will try to navigate at the control panel. The cursor inches across the screen so slowly that the movie's barely playable. <laughs> Akarsha! <laughs> the bell rings this concludes to well in Akarsha's daily morning turn fest. Once everyone is seated, the morning announcements play over the intercom. Uh, uh, mm -mm. The first practice season for senior Megara is today. Is today after school in the gym. Don't forget your T-shirt for more 
order for us, whatever. Our school is, this has a tradition where the seniors do a Bahagra dance at the end of Multicultural Week. I don't know what that is, and I'm so sorry that I don't know what that is. I guess that means we'll have to, we'll, we'll get to see, uh, Krista and Liz dance. Mm. Uh, the very first first meeting is today after school in NSF. Unlike anime club, besides discussing anime, we also eat Japanese snacks and learn Japanese manners and language. That, that doesn't sound like it. That, that significates of a difference. Our school may not have the have a football or baseball team anymore, but it does have hella new clothes popping up all the time. It's because everyone wants to be able to put a uh, put founder and president on their college apps. I'm trying to think of it. Didn't Krissa and Liz start the baseball club during the application season? No way. Well, good for them. Even if they have ulterior motives. It's been fun. Oh, it's almost Valentine's Day. Ooh, interesting. Anyway. Uh, this Valentine's Day, the Northern Student Association is kicking off their annual Rose fundraiser. fundraiser. Uh, For $5, you can deliver a rose to your special someone with a message of your choice. You can even make it a buffet for twenty dollars. Or a phone should be the sugar you need in third period today. I don't know if you're hearing me or not. I'm trying to do the cool like how did I don't know. Maybe it's purposely fine. You can read it anyway. It'd just be untangible. You're like, what are they even saying? Ha! Huh. Like like anybody's gonna get me one of those. Of course, uh, stupid glances at Noelle, who's sitting beside her. To her surprise, no one is listening to the intercom intently, as if she were being graded on it. Probably that's because she's probably just thinking maybe that, I don't know. Wait, maybe this is my chance. I should act really pitifully down about being single and drop hints that getting a rose would make me happy. After seeing the love of her life for me in such a miserable state, no one will feel guilty that she hasn't gotten me one. I'm pushing her size heavily and slumps in her desk. What's the matter with you? I always feel the worst about being single on holidays where I have no one to celebrate with. Like, Valentine's Day is supposed to be the happiest, most romantic time of the year, but it just reminds me of how no one ever loved me. Maybe he's getting roses this year. Must be nice. What is there to envy? Flowers are serve no physical purpose. They wither up within days and wind up in the garbage. What a waste of money. Of course you would think so. So you uptight spoilers for I love it, it's not even like hate now, it's more of just like, huh, I guess. <laughs> it's a thought that counts, though. I personally wish someone would send me a rose. <laughs> what? Did I say something funny? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> that, but I can be like, that's oh, something. No, it goes back to reading her uh, meta mathematics puzzle book. Hmm, so that didn't go as expected. Time to revisit my tactics. Improvise. Adapt. Overcome. At the day's usual math lesson, the teacher brings out a stack of test papers. Are right, everyone clear your desks? <laughs> Pop quiz! <laughs> it's just, I, I, I'd be dead too. Like, uh, oh, what a pop quiz. Oh, excuse me, a pop quiz. You know, I should have done that. But no, it's just uh, KML today. K A M L. Oh, thank God. The K A M Ls are these math, math league contests we do every few months. The 30 minute test consisting of weird problems that don't have much to do with our current course material. They're just for fun, so they don't affect your grades or anything. Our condition is the six problems on the test. Usually three of these of the problems are freebies you'll get right if you have a brain. And then there's there's two you have to think about, and one hella tough one. I get to work. Dang. Jesus Christ. Why do you have to- Okay, whatever. Anyway. On the way to lunch, Arkarsha and Noelle and Aya check notes on their answers. What did you get on the last question? The one about the diagonal passing through the 2012 2015 unit grid. Mm, I could. I tried the whole grid the best I could. Guess uh, 3,800 based on that. <clears throat> I guess Noelle drops her lunch basket as she pulls it from her locker. I didn't manage to catch it before it hits the ground. You drew the grid? There were thousands of units on each side. Only roughly. I was running out of time. I had one left and didn't know where to start. The answer, the answer was uh, 4026, right? The diagonal goes through the first measure at zero, zero, and then the other 2014 squares happen uh, horizontally and 2011 squares vertically. That's what I got too. Yes, if you got that, it's gotta be right. Wow, dang, that's impressive. Our, our professor really is smart. Uh, Min gives them a weird look as she joins them. What the fuck's wrong with you? 
How excited can you get over a math problem? Clearly, you've never known the high, known the high of finding out you got the same answer as the smartest kid in the class. Before preens a little, no, preens a little at the compliment. That's an exaggeration. No, it's not. No one else in our class got all six right last time. Wait, you got all six? Don't they publish your name on a list or something online when that happens? They do. Dude, that's so impressive. That's the most I've ever, the most I've ever managed with five. I was still perfectly respectable though. It made you better at math than the vast majority of high schoolers, and that's including all the way up to grade 12, not just for our grade. Yeah, I guess so. Seriously, it's seriously amazing that she's basically one of the smartest kids in the whole state. We're so different, but at the same time, there's so many ways we're alike. We're it's so compatible with each other. We're so perfect for each other. <laughs> uh, Rin holds open. Uh, hold the door open for her uh, as they walk over to their usual table. After you, princess. Thanks. <laughs> the sweat, the <laughs> mm. I'm really sure she yeah, like she like, like this even though he is strong enough to smash a hole through the wall like a cool lady, like the cooler man. <laughs> I guess he finds it romantic that he is protective of her and stuff. Come on, you always know that the smaller ones are always the more feistier ones anyway. That's just that's just the fact. The tall ones are pretty chill and the feistier are like the smaller ones. People who are shoulder are always like kind of the more protective one. I feel like that's just been a thing. That's known thing, I don't know. Sometimes I can change. Like, this, there's sometimes that Darren never changes, but still, point being. <laughs> Maybe if I try to remove like that, no one will fall for me. Um, <clears throat> Once they sat down, Noelle struggles to open her water bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah must, not, must have not opened it for her like usual this morning. This is my chance. Here, I got this, babe. <laughs> Carson snatches the bottle away from Noelle and tries to open it. <laughs> Shit! This is surprisingly hard. And they say Schiffler is dead. You disgust me. What? I was just trying to help. You were smoking on as you as as you took the bottle from me. I was not. I was too. You're smiling weird. What? What? Was I? It's <laughs> the bottle to the uh, yeah, and the with a huff. Okay, that could have gone better. Luckily, I've got one last trick up my sleeve. Before pit. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> but apparently we skipped over lunch. Okay. Uh, before fifth period begins, our grocery scheme is in her desk. I think sad because no, no one has was, was into me didn't work, so I should try the opposite tactic. Well, I think the dudes are falling for me, but that's right. So if she likes me, she'll feel pressure to take action, or else I'll be stolen from right under her nose. I won't be on the market for long. I'm a limited time offer. The grocery goes over to the to annoy to annoy Noelle at her desk. Noelle puts down the thick tome she's reading to give Agarsha her undivided attention. Yes? Can I tell you something? I'll allow it. I'll allow it? Who talks like that? What are you, a judge? I love you. So yesterday, I was RP with one of my online pals, Shibizan and on anime Crazy Net, and he asked me to be his warm girlfriend. I turned him down, of course. I'm so popular, this happens all the time. Never mind. I forget I, I forget I asked. Huh? She's remotely interested. Suddenly a sharp tremor rattles no one's desk. <laughs> Quit shaking my desk! But I'm not shaking it. Uh oh. Uh no one uh, and a car should look at one another, then they're at their violently shaking the surrounding. There's a ghost! <laughs> you mean earthquake? Oh, yeah, earthquake. There's a commotion as Ian and the others fall under their desks for cover as taught by the years of earthquake holes. Without thinking, a crusher dies. Actually, by the way, I previously learned that this isn't the greatest method on the planet. But anyway. I'm thinking a Karsha dives under her no under under Noelle's desk, leaving Noelle sitting doubly in her chair. <laughs> Karsha, what am I supposed to hide under now? Oops, why don't you sweet under too? <laughs> Me? <laughs> I love the sound I made. <laughs> So cute! No, I can't! Kiss, kiss, kiss! Anyway, um... <laughs> Akarsha tries to make room for Noelle as she stiffly crawls under the desk. Every every single one of Noelle's joints pop as she crouches into place. Oh my god, that's me though, constantly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, poppy. Anyway, we're so close. Akarsha can feel the heartbeat raining off of... I can feel the heat uh, raining off of Noelle's skin. Is it just me? Or is this, like, really romantic? I think it is. Nah, I'm just overthinking it. I gotta look at this objectively. Scowling, no one really adjusts herself so she presses a hand against her car shows. No way. Is this what I think it means? She should have done that because she secretly likes me. Confirmed! 
I think it stopped. <laughs> anyway, um, Noah clambers back to her feet in a hurry. I can't believe you. I kind of perish because of your selfishness. But you didn't. Talk about a win-win situation. What are the odds of an earthly happening right as we were talking to each other? Maybe it's a sign from the universe that we're soulmates. I mean, think about it. What's more likely that this was a coincidence? Or that the world revolves around me and is trying to tell me something? It's obviously the second one. <laughs> Dang. Ooh. Her head comes home, giddy with the private conviction that Noah likes her back. In a spirit of reckless courage, she puts up, her, up the family desktop in the computer room after dinner. Okay. I'm gonna confess my love to her. I have a really good feeling about this. Hey! Do you have a minute? Why is she just like a certified brain genius? Uh, because I am one? Duh. What difference is it between a genius and a brain genius? It's a pointless distinction. No, 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 they're obviously different. Did you change it just to annoy me? I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't appreciate you questioning my certification. We ladies need to uplift each other. No one is having two queens fight. Queens? Right now, I see that there's nothing but an enemy to be obliterated. Okay, we can circle back to this later. That's not why I messaged you. Why did you message me then? I have to tell you something. What is it? I... Uh... Man, this is hard to say. <laughs> I kind of have a crush on you. Er, what? You're joking, right? Our crush on image boxes and little flat response flashes on the screen. Crap. That's not what I was expecting. If she really liked me, she would have jumped at the chance to say that she felt the same way. I know I would have. Which means I was overthinking all the interaction after all. I'm not a certified brain genius anymore. I've made a great mistake. Abort mission! Abort! Uh, just kidding! That was my brother! Your brother? He, he took the keyboard and typed it as a joke. I can't believe he did that. Like, I'd say anything that crazy. I see. Just forget this ever happened, okay? My bro is so random. Well, I gotta go. Bye. Our crusher powers the family desk shock off. Her pound, her heart pounding a mile a minute. That was a close one. I somehow salvaged that and escaped from that unscathed. A part of my heart being broken into a thousand scissorines, I mean. Oh. No. No. It's so sad. No. Crusher ah. finally throws herself onto the sofa in the living room. You said this. Her brother offers her a piece of candy. Want to hide you? No thanks. <laughs> Don't need too many of those. They have a uh, dangerous always in them. Okay, Dad. Her mom goes into uh, her mom goes into the room. Our first is left the switch off the light. What is this? I have no clue. Daiwa? Daiwa? I don't know. Oops, sorry, I was having a meltdown. I forgot. Want to watch a funny movie with us? It'll make you feel better. What's the movie? She's the man. We just need I do wait two minutes. It starts on TV at seven. The movie. Oh, ah. Uh, anyway, the movie cuts off with a teenage heroine making out with her girl with her boyfriend. Ew, gross. I don't know. Wish that were me. We would have been so cute together. We belong together. We should be dating. I was hoping so bad Noelle could see that too. This really hurts to know she doesn't feel the same way. Oh, this actually makes me a very handsome boy. She would have. She would have tricked me. She would have tricked you, Betty. Do you know? Do you know how to do this? Do what? Disguise myself as a guy? What kind of question is that? You're so weird. It's a funny, mo fun movie, but watching Under Hedge Happy pair up after the whacking teen hijinks just makes her crush her chest ache with even more. Seeing the forlorn expression on her face, her dad pats her on the shoulder. Cheer up. If you really don't want to be a doctor, you could become a movie star instead. What are you saying? I think it'd be cool if we her because a famous movie star. If she's rich, we could live in the mountains. We could be like in the wild. Why would you even want that? You can do it, Eddie. You can do it, Eddie, I believe. <laughs> My friends have such high hopes for me, but all I do is waste the opportunities he worked so hard to give me. I have literally nothing going for me. I'm literally such a waste of time and resources. How do you manage to have their first kiss in kindergarten and stuff? Why does anyone want to kiss me? I'm like a- I'm like- am I that unlikable? It's like- oh my god, wow, I'm about to get to cry! I'm on a hungry version, wow! Anyway, um, no, it feels such like a, uh, much like a remote thing that I can't imagine it ever happening to me. I never even held someone's hand or been, like, in any kind of relationship. At this rate, I'm gonna go through my entire life without ever getting kissed. 
Wait, is there a question that we've been kissed before? Oh man, I feel bad. But, um, what's even the point of me staying alive? There's nothing for me to look forward to. Everything just feels so unattainable. Oh. Once her credits off, she directly texted on her phone. I read online that it's healthy to wall in sadness for up to an hour a day. And that hour begins. Nah. What the fuck? Ah. Shut up! Ah. What happened? I guess it didn't go well. Oh shit. Luckily, luckily, the second I saw things were going south, I was able to backtrack and play it off as a joke. I said that my mother was banking. Eh. Wait. Hold on. You did it through text? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It seemed like a good idea at the time. And then I, I could say it wasn't me if I check it out. What the fuck? Do it properly! In person! And deal the consequences of my actions? No, thank you. Well, if you're not sincere about it, then what... Then what you get back isn't going to be real either. You're like someone who went up to Vegas, spent one penny, and got spooked and left. You need to take risks if you're gonna win anything. Too scary, coward. What's the point? I know they're not interested in me anyway. Weak sauce move. And I can't even blame them. Who would want to waste time with a loser like me? What am I? What am I then, motherfucker? A chop liver? I'm wasting time with you right now. But you like wasting time with the Amor. See? Is day. Is day, is day. Well, it's not a contest. Okay, but it kind of is. I don't know, like, having one person in the world, world think I'm worth loving would be nice. I feel like I've spent my entire life wanting people being and being rejected while nobody else ever felt anything for me. Like, am I really that ugly or boring that no one would ever fall in love with me? I'm just a waste of space. Seriously, stop saying shit like that. I was just kidding. I'm so random. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I like to be a bitch. Of a bitch. I just want to do normal high school things, like date and go to parties and stuff. I feel like I'm missing out on this whole fun experience everyone else is having. Fuck, dumbass. There's probably like three couples in our entire grade, including me and yeah. Bunch of socially stunned uh, fob nerds. Um. Most of us aren't even allowed to date until college anyways. Great. So not only am I an undesirable weirdo, but I'm not even special. Not special is good sometimes. If you're not special, that means you're not alone. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, <laughs> you're right. You wanna play, uh, Ale Story tonight? I need to try to stop thinking about my epic fail. Uh, sorry, I can't. Joan's using the computer right now. Mm. How about we play through text then? What do you mean through text? <laughs> It's a snail. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh, okay, attack. Ninja star. It's hitting you. Uh, 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 five points damage. Huh? Why? Use emoticons like me. Oh. Uh. Er. What's that supposed to be? Your butthole? <laughs> Why would it be my butthole? <laughs> It's a ninja star! To go? Oh, okay. 22 damage. <laughs> 25 damage. It's coming closer and closer again. That's my, 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 my fish punching. Oh, I thought it was a. That's surprising. 2 damage. <laughs> 4 damage. Uh, 3 points. Uh, what the? The still should be dead by now. They don't have that much uh, HP. F9. Fine, you're not damaged. $2. Okay, great. I'm gonna be trying doing the Kerning City, uh, I don't know what the P and Q means, but yeah, good choice. Akersha feels a bit better after talking in, but she's, once she's off, uh, locked off, her arch in her inner chase return. A chase? His chest! Good god. That night, Akersha reads the entirety of As Manga Do for the first time on an illegal manga scanlation site in an effort to forget about everything. It doesn't work. Next morning. Ia's house. It's still interesting who's looking at Zakarsha. Um, let's see. How much time has it passed? Uh, we'll go a little longer, I think. And then I think I'll stop. Uh, I don't- This might be a little long of an episode. But, uh, I know I'll edit down some stuff, but yeah. Um, Akarsha cracks a weak smile as Ia answers the door. Hey, you ready to go to school together? Ia gives her an odd look as they start heading down the sidewalk. Are you okay? Yeah, what do you ask? 
You didn't send me a weird message this morning like usual. Also, your eyes are red. Oh, that's nothing. I got shampooed in the while showering. You should get, uh, real kids. No tears. Are you made fun of me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, all your jokes are so deadpan it's hard to tell sometimes. That's pretty nice to be pretty. I wish I didn't have to be funny all the time to get people to like me. Jesus Christ! Wow, okay. Uh, it's just being so pathetic that you fall hopelessly in love with anyone who pays even the slightest bit of attention to you. Especially on the table of uh, straight girls. God, I'm so stupid. Anyway, um, I can't believe I was so desperate that I convinced myself she liked me back. Literally delusional. <sighs> At school, Akasha nervously waits in the first period classroom before Noelle and Air arrive. I wonder how, how facing Noelle will I wonder how facing Noelle again will go. I wonder if I through the doorway and ricochets off the floor. Coast is clear. You don't need to keep doing that, you know. I wouldn't reuse the same setup twice. No cautiously sticks a long twig through the door frame. Her eyes narrow to the Prussia. Then what is it this time, you prune worm? Wouldn't you like to know? Phew, she's acting like nothing happened last night. She must have must have believed what I said about my little brother sending the message. Thank God. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, now I gotta ignore my feelings until they eventually die out. Oh, whoops, I- wait back. Hold on. Uh, this Is this Yeah, I missed one. What? Yeah. Right, thank god. Uh, now I just gotta ignore them dying out. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I missed something. If not. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, I have a special present for you. Fresh friend, come closer. What? No, keep it to yourself. Don't be shy. I know what you- You want your very special present. <laughs> I don't want this present! Don't come near me! And this is the last of suspicion. She tries to give Akasha a wide berth. Akasha just usually pulls her secret weapon out of her pocket. Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> it's a spinning light the way Akasha got from Disneyland in elementary school. <laughs> and the little lots of rubber arms repeatedly whack her in the face. That was the night her debut as a jerk! I used to annoy my brother like this all the time. Akasha, I hate you! Especially gulps as he approaches the crime scene and towers over her. Mm. Come in, this isn't fair. Just look, I'm so small. Look how small I am compared to you. No, it's my birthday. You can't be mean to me on my birthday. Is that true? She's lying. Her birthday isn't, isn't until April. The crusher yelps as <laughs> and snatches the spinny toy out of her ass. Seeing that a crusher unarmed, Noelle Menace starts walking toward her. Hey, calm down! I was doing you a favor, testing your fleece for you. Like a new doctor. <laughs> Free for <free> life size! <laughs> the Karsha breaks into a run as well, chases after her. Come back here, you cretin! Oh shit, base refresh has actually made her faster. Oh shit, she's catching up to me. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. When Karsha comes to base refresh, she hears whispering in the locker room. So the plan is, we pitch y'all in. If we split it up in eight, we're only a uh, dollar fifty per person. Why don't? But I don't see why I should have to pay. Shh. It's a car. It's a car. Yeah, right. Hand me over. Um, you have to pay because it will be hilarious. You'll never guess who it is. And here I thought we were trying to do a good deed. Do you always have to be engaged in some kind of sight in my battle with her? What are you see me about? I want in. A crush walks over to, her, to where the others are particularly huddled together. A crush fall, falls over them, the other the team. Uh, why hello there, Karsha. We, we were just talking about uh, how a vampire knows he's getting an enemy. Mm -hmm. We're acting so natural right now. Okay, clearly not to something. The question is, what? Oh boy. I have a feeling, and I don't know how it's gonna go well. Okay, after jogging around the track and stretching, little warming runs, uh, runs feel uh, rituals. While well, Karsha takes a breather in the dugout, she watches Noel happily <laughs> feel about the reveal on the field. Within moments, the object of her affection misjudges the trajectory of a flying ball and gets bonked on the head. Ow! Baseball champion. I would do anything for you. If only you would let me. Karsha lets out a wistful sigh as Noel performs her signature move, throwing the ball almost, into, almost directly into the ground. Does that have a sad, hopeless crush? I just want a girlfriend. It's not dramatic. Kanichi, what's up? Kanichi, what's up? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm just bummed because I've never experienced love. 
No one ever likes me back. I feel like I'm missing out on so much. It's okay. Being rejected is part of life. You should learn to love yourself. It's a lie that people can can only be happy when they're in a relationship. Esther <laughs> lights us up from the drawing. She's scribbling on her sketchbook. Such a surprising wife is coming from someone with zero love experience. I didn't have life lessons from card capture Sakura. The main character experience and quite love even though she's a great person. That means it happen it can happen to anyone. Even our even our our Sakoi Akarsha <laughs> I'm sorry to say it's weird words wrong, it's hard. Uh that does make me feel less alone. Thanks, Senpai. Ugh. Esther you're gonna see erases something on her page. Making countless uh, gray eraser shapings rain down on the dirt uh, beneath the bench. Esther, what are you drawing? A chapter title page for a webcomic I'm starting. A webcomic. Like, uh, Smash Guys? A card appears over Esther's sketchbook, but she recoils, looking bashful. Don't look, I'm not done yet. A card manages to lip a spiky haired character on the page before Esther angles her sketchbook away from prying eyes. Pretty good though. She posted that on DeviantArt. I bet she didn't get like 200 views. Is that not from an anime? Esther frowns, aghast. No, it's just a regular guy. It's like those iPod ads, see? He's wearing white earbuds. And I colored his silhouette in black. It's just a type of weird weeboo. Weeboo tries to hide the fact that she likes anime because she's embarrassed by it, but it's she's still super obvious. I hate to break you do, but even though from Mozilla, you can tell he is an anime guy. It's probably his hairdo. No real guys have bangs that go down to their chin. They should though. Life would be way less boring. Ugh, guys with short hair is so hard to draw. Are they? I feel like, well, I guess. Long hair is, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, Archer turns her attention back to the veil. Where are you in our fashion and kissing? I think they're going to keep their relationship in secret. They're trying to keep their relationship, but they, are keep, they keep forgetting. Do you know how, do you, ha do you have to do that in front of us? Just, just you watch. I'm going to rub my gay hands all over her. <laughs> I'm so jealous, I want to be in love too. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even do it. <laughs> this is a serious thing. <clears throat> Someday everyone else is gonna get married except me. And I'll be the one single sad friend. Me too. Me three. If that happens, we should all pitch into buy a mansion and live as a tapu together. That definitely doesn't sound like that kind of life my parents were envisioning me for, for me when I Im immigrated here. <laughs> but that sounds incredible. Doesn't it? We could put up all our anime prints and display our uh, figurines with no shame. Speak for yourself. I don't have any of. I, I'm not. I don't have any of that stuff. My room's normal. You don't have anything. You've never been to an anime convention before. Anime is like right here in San Jose. Oh, you should all go together. We should all go together this year. We can possibly have the same series. Yeah, maybe like Soyeon or Harazamira. Uh, what if anime admission is probably too intensive anyway? And Sarah scoffs like she's not interested before. Figured in writing something on the tiny side of this of her sketchbook. She didn't, she didn't write it small enough. This is fan of me. She's probably gonna Google it later. Hey, all your suckers sitting down doing nothing. Get over here and practice. Yeah. <laughs> Valentine's Day. All right, I think it's a good stop here because I feel like a lot of stuff is about to go down in a minute. So I think we're gonna stop here. Um, episode wise. Um. <coughs> so, uh, let me just go to my menu. Yes. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Um, because I think it's a good spot. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my throat is kind of getting shot right now. So, I kind of want to take a little breaky break. Um, so, yeah, uh, I know this episode's probably gonna be decently long. Um, but probably most of the other episodes might be a little bit shorter. Um, I just thought we might have moved on to some other characters at this point yet, but apparently not, so, uh, probably, I like this mostly, this is probably gonna be more of Akarsha's story, it seems like, this time around, so, um, at least at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so, hopefully you all enjoyed, uh, this first episode, I am really excited that, uh, this game has a sequel, I'm very happy about it, and I am enjoying it a lot so far, so, um, if you like it, like it, dislike it, dislike it, comment below what you thought. Um, if you've played Butterfly Soup, uh, the second game yet or not, um, let me know. And subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, bye guys!